Hey guys, DicePoy22, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still using the God Gundam as my avatar, until my hair grows back to its normal stature, but you might notice it's actually a lot dimmer in here, because, ta-da, no more, no more blinding light of death. Okay, so anyway, besides that point, um, today I'm going to be doing my anime top 11 version 2 <clears throat> and here we go pointing god finger that way or I don't know down down there all right so coming in at number 11 is um <clears throat> Dean Angel starring the the story of Daisuke Niwa, who when he um on his birthday he attains the powers of um of Phantom Dark that runs in his family for generations. Now, I like this story because it's balanced and consistent, and <clears throat> I thought it had a very nice plot and very nice ending to it. <clears throat> And I just like how they keep a balance within the show, with the shipping and the action, and how they focus a lot on both at the same time. And moving on, coming in at number 10 is on Tight Kubo's Bleach. Um, Bleach, I've been watching it a lot lately. To be honest, I thought I would hate this series forever, because of like how overrated with fans has gotten, but I actually r really like it. Bleach is actually r really cool, actually, and and I think that Johnny Young Bosch does a very nice job as Ichigo Kurosaki, and I just think the cast of characters are very nice, but the reason this is at number 10, the only problem with it that I feel it is too long, I mean... Inuyasha was only, um, 140 something episodes. This is at, like, a, like, 180 to 90 episode basis right now. You know, I just wish this sh series would be a little shorter, or else it's gonna become, like, the Pokemon Syndrome if, if Shonen Jump or or Shishia Comics, or whoever isn't careful. Just a heads up, I guess, for them. Um, coming in at number 9 is an anime called Star Driver. <clears throat> Star Driver is pretty much um, Bandai's answer to, um, to a new generation G Gundam. Um, it pretty much is the story of this kid right here, whose name I kind of forget. <laughs> Probably should have rehearsed this. But the, um, but funny thing is, when he transforms or something, he gets, like, this blonde streak in his hair or something, and he just, like, poses and goes, and when he's, like, inside the robot, he goes, like, Galactic Pretty Boy! It's actually pretty funny, actually. <clears throat> and then, um... The reason this is at number 9 is because, um... You know what I said about DN Angel, about, like, keeping balance between the whole shipping thing and everything? This series tends to focus more on shipping rather than the... than the giant robot fighting action, like... Because the giant robot fighting action is like near end episode or mid episode, kind of like G Gundam, but like while they're setting it up, it feels kind of ridiculous, because um um because Kunto or something, I think that's his name, like lives with his friend and this girl, and um it kind of feels too much like a Twilight thing going on, except they live in the same apartment. So this is kind of why it's at number 9. It's still a great series overall, though. I suggest you check it out.
Star Driver. Coming in at number eight is um is SD Gundam Sengoku Don Warriors. Now, for an SD series, this story really took me by surprise. Like after I watched the first SD Gundam with Captain Gundam shoot Sonic X wise. I thought I was never going to want to do anything SD or watch anything SD ever again. But I saw this series like advertised on AnimeFreak.tv, so I thought, eh, whatever, may as well check it out. And I was like, okay, wow, this is awesome, okay. And as I kept watching, like, there's actually death in this series, like, full blown out death. And like, and, like, there's a general, which is the kid's father, and there's actually a sad scene, like, dramatic scene. And that actually took me by surprise. This series is actually kind of deep for an SD, which also took me by surprise as well. But, anyway, moving on. Coming in at number seven is, um, Bamboo Blade. Yes, Bamboo Blade is still on my list after these years or months. I don't know how long it's been. <clears throat> but Bamboo Blade, I feel, has a very good, like, high school, like, story to it. And plus, it's about Kendo Team and me. I like samurais and swords. Okay, moving on. Coming at number six <clears throat> is um, Code Geass. Now, when I say Code Geass, um, I'm not referring to R2 or original Code Geass, just Code Geass in general, the both of them. I like this because, um, because the story can really suck you in and really, and really you'll just grow to love the story. <clears throat> Basically, how I judge anime is like how good or how deep their story is stories are, basically. And, um, in the English dub, once again, Johnny Young Bosch, um, he actually portrayed Lelouch, um, Lamperouche very well. And, um, this is actually a funny fact, but the guy who voices Suzaku, he actually voices, um, Ben Tennyson in Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. It's actually really funny. Um, and mo moving on. I'll answer that later. Um, coming in at number five is, um, a new show, well, new to me, called Is Infinity Stratos. This is actually really cool and really unique. This is like a, um, this is kind of like an Iron Man type mech thing or something, except not completely Iron Man, like full blown out suit. It's more like, like, mecha suits, like, I don't know, you'd have to look this up on Google Images or look up, like, scenes from, from the anime to understand what I'm talking about. But the situation this guy is, is in just always keeps me laughing in the series. Like, it has its good balance of shipping, comedy, and action. So that, for me, is why it comes in at number five, for a good, complete balance. Um, coming in at number four is, um, is Genesis of Aquarion. This series was really good. What, what really kept me hooked in, in watching it was not the story, but more the characters and the music. The music is really good in this series. I really love the music. <clears throat> I'm getting close to the ten minute limit, so I better hurry up this list. Alright, so coming in at number three is, um, I don't know if you guys remember this show, but IGPX, um, it was a Toonami exclusive <clears throat> about this, about this kid right here. It's basically about, um, alright, take F-Zero and then you're gonna want to take, um, the robots from... You're going to want to take the robots from um, Avon Gillian, give them this shade of color, give them a nightmare frame system, 
make them more sports racers, and you get IGPX. This story is actually... It's alright, but what really just mainly kept me watching this was the racing robots just kicking the crap out of each other as they ran or raced the course. It was really funny. And really entertaining as well, and very action-y. Coming in at number two is, um, still on my list, Ruroni Kenshin. In my opinion, this is Shonen Jump's best written story they've ever done. The, okay, I don't care for... I don't care about Bleach's story or anything else really Shonen Jump has up their sleeves today. This series will always be my golden boy for Shonen Jump. Despite Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, it didn't get on this list this time. Sorry to say, guys. Because I just I just like Dragon Ball Z way too much. Alright. Um, so... And I thought the, the depth and precision of the story was great. And the cast of characters was really great. Yeah, you get the point. Coming in at my number one... <laughs> See there? I drew a crown. Lol. Um, coming at number one... Still yes, guys. Yes. Still yes. Okay. G Gundam. I do not know what else to say about this series. G Gundam. And if you guys saw my last anime list... Oh gosh, the camera's shaking. I, I need to keep it still. Somehow. Um, if you guys saw my last anime list, um, Gundam Seed was on there as well. This time on the anime list, I decided to um, limit it to one Mobile Suit Gundam series. The reason I had Sengokudon on there is because it's not an actual Gundam series. You know, like, like with the, um, like with the pilot, the mech, how he obtains his mobile suit, what kind of war is there going on. I mean, and Sengokudon, yes, it does have a deep plot, but it's not exactly a real Gundam series. Plus, it's done in CGI. That's why it made the cut on there, because it's more different than any other real Gundam series. <clears throat> but um, G mainly made it on there because... Um, because between G and Seed, I'm going with G. <clears throat> I mean, just... Let's look at how many um, Domonkashu leads I have. One... Two, three, four, five, six. And I also have Nobel Gundam and um, Gundam Rose back there. As you can tell, um, G Gundam is basically my favorite overall series of the Gundam universe. And I had really no choice on this list but to choose one Gundam series because on the last list, choosing two Gundam series felt a bit unfair, because it's like Gundam just got on there twice. It didn't exactly feel fair. <clears throat> I was considering putting Double O on this list, but I just like kept looking at my anime list on YouTube. I was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, add that. And then I just got to 11 so fast that I wasn't even thinking. But yeah... Some possibilities that might have made it on this list are Gundam Double O, um, <clears throat> I'll go over to my manga section, um, Karakuri Doji Ultimo, even though it's still just a manga, and, um, hmm, Crest of the Stars is a possibility, but, um, other than that, um, feel free to ask, feel free to PM me um, what you think of my list and ask me questions about my list, like why did I choose this, why did I choose that, if you don't, under, don't understand too clearly. But I only got a few seconds left in, I gotta go. Diceboy22, um, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.